Black Clover chapter 250. Oh my god, I couldn't wait to see this chapter. Because we finally got the character that I wanted to see powered up for the longest time. Well, one of the, one of the characters I wanted to see powered up. We still haven't seen Noelle's new powered up powers. We get to see Charmy going all, all out. And I, I love to see how insanely strong Charmy has become over these past six months. So... This chapter, another quick one, so this won't be a very quick video. Oh, this won't be a very uh, long video. So, what happens in this chapter is that Charmy on her coming cloud starts flying towards uh, where one of the Dark Disciples, Albet, starts to wreak, who is wreaking havoc on one of the villages in the Heart Kingdom, where one of the Spirit Guardians was defeated by her, and the village is on fire. She continuously, this character is honestly. Someone I would like to see Charmy beat up because she is very, very vain and honestly really looks down on everybody. So, yeah, it's obvious that there was supposed to be some. But then again, all, all of the Dark Disciple members are people we wanted to see get beat up. So Charmy rises on the scene being like, I will never forgive you for what you've done to this, to this kingdom and its people and its food. Obviously, so Charmy starts powers up by by some by using the runes and a, the rune arrays to create a giant sheep out of her kind magic to fight Albet, who is using her hair magic. And essentially, both magics don't really do anything to each other; they kind of just pass through. So they're kind of they kind of nullify each other. But since Albet's power is boosted by a demon, it manages to cut through Charmy's magic and actually lands a blow on her. And I'll bet then turns her hair into these needle things and hits Charmy with them. And believing that that was the finishing blow, wraps Charmy around in her hair, saying that she will die by her beauty. And you know, and also bad mouths Charmy for being fat. Because remember, when Charmy eats a lot of food for a short period of time, she is insanely chubby. Which is, I mean, for Charmy, it's honestly insanely cute and funny. But you know, she starts to bad mouth Charmy. As well as saying that there's no point in eating food or anything, and all she really needs are the nutrients that she has prepared in like a little like syringe or vial to just inject herself with the proper nutrients she needs so she can stay the way she is. But I don't know, but then right at that moment, Charmy busts out of that hair in her half dwarf form, in her adult form. And the magic and the food magic wolf right behind her, and I am so happy because this is the second time we see Charmy use this mag use her magic, which is insanely overpowered by the way, to fight. So, Charmy, saying once again that she will never forgive, I'll bet for what she's done to the kingdom and her people. Charmy does flash back to her time training. We are told that she does in fact skip out on her training just to go out in the forest and eat food. She's invited to eat with all the townspeople. And the people from the kingdom multiple times, and that everyone really likes her. So this does help put more of a personal grudge into this fight that Charmy has put herself in. So once Charmy uses her food magic, she uses a new technique called Glutton's Banquet, and essentially uses her food magic to essentially eat Albat's hair. Then she uses the a combo of the of the arrays and her food magic to create a new magic spell called Cook. And then the food magic wolf that she created starts to cook season to cook and season Albet to be devoured. So the the wolf stirs her stirs her up in like noodles and everything, puts seasoning and other foods and stuff like that in it, devours her, and then inside the mouth is Charmy, who just goes just does a full on JoJo's it goes like la 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 like that, but you know, like I I don't want to do. I, I would look ridiculous if I acted that whole thing out. But yeah, it's a freaking JoJo's reference showing how strong Charmy is. She beats the crap out of Elbed and says that the important th in order to be um uh, strong and beautiful, you need a pro you need proper meals, and that's how the chapter ends. So yeah, I went through this pretty quickly because. This was a very quick chapter, and not too much really happened. Albet attacked the Heart Kingdom, 
People, one of the spirit guardians was taken down. People were panicking. Charmy shows up. Enemy thinks they took down Charmy. Charmy uses her true powers, takes down the Dark Disciple, wins, and that is it. But the but the honestly, every time Charmy comes on screen, I really like seeing her. And when she uses this power, it just makes me love her character even more. Honestly, I think Charmy is the best girl in the series. I mean, then we do have like Noelle, Sacre, and Vanessa. The series has a lot of best girls, honestly. But I think for me, it's gonna be Charmy right now. Charmy and Noelle for de definitely. But more, but af but after this chapter, after knowing what Char what Charmy's capable of, and her attitude, I do think I am leaning more towards Charmy, honestly. But yeah, Charmy's power is insanely overpowered because she just straight up devoured the mana of this Dark Disciple like it was nothing. And I think these Dark Disciples have like 40-50% of the demon power right right now. And it's, I mean, it's not definitely not strong in the Dark Triads um, uh, demons, but still, it's something. So if Charmy f continues to get stronger and fully, completely masters her food magic, she can actually do something against the Dark Triad. And honestly, I do know that it's kind of an easy fix to have Charmy fight those guys and just devour all their, pow all their, ma their mana. I mean, there's probably going to be something to nerf it, or Charmy will have to, or it'll make it really, or probably make it hard for Charmy to devour their, their magic since they're a lot stronger. But either way, Charmy is a great char character to have, and I really love seeing that each of these chapters right now have been showing the powered up uh, mages in the Heart Kingdom and the Clover Kingdom. Honestly, I, next chapter is got to be, it's got to be Noelle Mimosa like, against Vonica. I, I don't think anyone else is in the Heart Kingdom right now. So I do see uh, the next one switching over to Noel and Mimosa and Laura Pachika fighting against Vonica. Well, that's it. Another really great chapter. I've been wanting to see Charmy's power, uh, Charmy powered up ever since the time skip. So it really, really, really touched my heart to see this. And I can't wait to see what happens next with Noel and how strong she has become. But yeah, this is this arc has been really great so far, and I can't wait to see what happens next. With all that said, well, what did you guys think? Have an awesome day.